All right, so I want to talk to you guys about my uh, Banshee 2 VGT controller. And what this is, is a brand new controller. It's IP67 rated. It's in a plastic enclosure. And it has uh, surf protection, repulse player protection. Um, it also works in 12 and 24 volt systems. Now, when you get my kit, my kit's going to come with the actual controller itself. Uh, Honeywell 50 pound uh, pressure sensor. It's going to come with securing straps so you can actually mount it to the fender well or to the firewall. It's also going to come with uh, an autometer hose kit. Now this here will allow you to connect to your factory spot with MPT fittings and then relocate. It has 10 feet of line. Now this is still my prototype harness so it looks kind of trashy but the actual harness itself that you'll get with the kit is actually manufactured in the United States, manufactured up in Indiana. Um, I should have it here in about another week or so. Once I actually get them, I'll start being able to sell the kits. Now this pot acts as the pressure sensor, so it goes from 5 volt, 0 0.5 volts to 4.5 volts, and you'll be able to see it actuate on the VGT itself. Now this controller goes through the J1939 CAM protocol. It's actually on the actuator, so you don't actually have to do anything, no modifications whatsoever, to the actual turbo itself. Now my pots are kind of screwed up. These are pretty cheap Radio Shack ones, so it's not sending a, like, a perfect signal, but it still works to demonstrate how it operates. Now, the first setting is actually the middle one. This one here changes the ratio. So basically, if you have it all the way to the right, it takes a full 50 pounds of pressure to fully actuate the turbo from open to close. Basically, it goes from roughly 9 centimeters to about 25 centimeters wide open. Now, if you turn it all the way to the left, it's going to change that ratio to about 20 pounds. So it takes 20 pounds to fully actuate the turbo. Makes a pretty big difference. Now, the first pot here, this allows you to uh, adjust the starting position as well as if you're cruising, you'll be able to adjust your drive pressure. And basically all it does is it gives you manual control from 9 centimeters, which is your starting point, to 25. So if you go about halfway, all the data basically below that is ignored by the controller. Then once you get over this setting, it's going to start actuating turbo again. So if you use this for your drive pressure, just keep in mind when you come down to an idle, basically you go back into town, it's going to stop wherever you preset it. So you just got to readjust it back down to 9 centimeters. Now the really cool feature about this uh, controller versus my, uh, my first generation Banshees is the exhaust brake. The exhaust brake is going to be activated by two switches. The first switch is actually on the RCU itself. When you flip the switch, you're going to have a, an anti-vandal switch. It's a push button um, switch that's going to sit here. Now the second switch, you guys want to supply yourself. So if you have someone installing it, make sure they have a basic 12 volt knowledge. What you're going to need is a normally open an NO momentary switch. You can buy this off eBay, you can get them off Radio Shack. They're pretty simple. The wiring harness is going to have an additional connector that you can remove if you don't want to use it. But it's basically going to have about seven feet. It's going to be a pigtail that you'll be able to connect this to. And what's going to happen is you can have like a, a, the Go Baby um, five speed shifter knobs you can put on your shifter with the button on it. You press it, engage the brake. Or if you have some other type of switch that's in hand reach, it's really up to however you want to do it. But the way I'm setting it up on my truck, and I recommend people to do, is you take the momentary switch, you put it on the back side on the floor behind the accelerator pedal. So when you take your foot off the gas, it's going to depress the switch, which will then activate the, the second switch, which is this, that sends a signal to the controller. And what, then what you have is you'll be able to manually control the exhaust brake. So the starting position is 9 centimeters, which is 0% brake. And then as you turn it to the right, it goes to 100% brake which is roughly three centimeters. And the idea is, if you're going down a pass or for whatever reason you need to have an exhaust brake, you don't want to use your uh, regular brakes, you flip the switch, which then activates the brake. And then when you take your foot off the accelerator, the second switch gets depressed, closes the circuit, activates the brake. Now if you're, you have some boost, or whatever the issue is, and you're actually driving down the road, as soon as you take your foot off the gas, it's going to go back to whatever position it's currently at because of the pressure. Take your foot off the accelerator again, engine brake. Now just go back and forth until you actually turn off the switch. Um, for my purposes here for prototyping, I didn't add a second switch. 
I gotta toggle this, but the concept's the same. Um, yeah, so that's that's pretty much everything. Everything's in the kit. So if you guys have any questions, just give me a call, um, send me an email, and uh, hopefully you guys enjoy. Them. Thanks.